Hello, my stitching friends. I am Denise, and this is Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're new here, this channel all is about stitching. Although the focus of this channel is counted cross stitch, we talk about all kinds of stitches here. And I uh, invite you to follow me on Instagram at designmars1, where I uh, post a lot of uh, behind the scenes and things that are coming up. And I like to post what it is I'm working on. I want to thank you all, uh, all those of you who actually clicked on the link uh, to buy me a coffee. Uh, it was more helpful than you can imagine. Uh, the most important part of it though is that all of the giveaway packages are out. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. And as I said, there is a link in the description box for buy me a coffee which just helps to keep this channel moving along and helps to uh, defray the cost of shipping for the giveaways that I love to do. Um, I do want to ask you to be patient with me because uh, Buy Me A Coffee is new to me and so I'm not sure um, yet about all of the ins and outs. For example, um, I get notified when someone has uh, bought me a coffee um, and it says that I can um, respond with a, with a thank you. But so far I have not yet figured out how that works, uh, but I do want you to know how much I do appreciate you doing that. So thank you again. Also, um, Thank you for everyone who joined me on my uh, Stitch With Me and chat. Um, I did it live um, a week or so ago and I thought it was a lot of fun and I, I really, I look forward to uh, doing more of that and stitching with you guys and actually chatting with you it was the best who knew i think we were on for like two hours i mean really we have that much to talk about yes we do yes we do so i do plan to do uh more of that um thank you so much for joining me i really i i enjoyed it so much and um hey welcome march we are in march already and guys, I am so behind. I am so behind. I apologize for that as well. I wanted, a, my plan was to record this video like five days ago. So, you know, life, I, I, the only way I know how to tap, say it is, it, it, life is big. Life is big. Life continues to happen. There are a couple of days in there that I didn't feel so well. Um, and just, just so, so much going on, but I can't tell you how happy I am to be here, uh, recording today for you guys. I miss you when I get behind, so thank you so, so much. Um, wanted to let you know that I tried stitching in hand, and for those of you who are not familiar, that's where... You're not using a hoop or a Q-snap or any scroll bars. You're just holding the fabric in your hand and stitching. And I tried doing that using the sewing method. And I have to report back that my first impression of it is ouch. For some reason, the um, hand that I was holding the fabric in started hurting very badly so I thought maybe maybe this is not for me although I but I really enjoy I very much enjoyed the motions of stitching 
using the sewing method, stitching in here. I may give it another try. I have to say I'm a little scared to do that because I don't want to mess my hands up. Um, because then what am I going to do, right? Watch movies? No. So, just wanted to let you know, I gave it a try. I gave it a try. I loved it, but it didn't love me back. Then, um, I was one day going through some, going through my file drawers, you know, because, you know, it's always, I'm, I'm always trying to find more space in my file drawers. Um, and so I have a folder full of recipes that I have kept over the years. And guys, I have been um, searching all over the internet all over Pinterest, anywhere that I can, for a recipe for a dessert that my mom used to make. And she called them Peach Jacks. And what they are are little um, hand pies made with peaches. And out of all of the things that my mother baked, she was a great baker, that was my all-time hands-down favorite well I was looking through my files looking actually looking through these recipes which I haven't done I haven't actually looked through them in years and oh my gosh guys I actually found the recipe and not only did I find the recipe but it is in my mom's handwriting oh my gosh guys I can't wait to make these and when I do, you'll be the first to know how they turned out. I am so excited about this recipe. I could cry. I could cry. In fact, I think I did a little bit. So, um, also uh, wanted to let you know that I have received my first round of the COVID vaccine. And I'm very happy about that. And uh, Mr. Rippin has completed. He's gotten both. He got the second round yesterday. So I am very much looking forward. I, it's like I can smell freedom. I can smell freedom. Although I fully intend to uh, continue wearing a mask, I just can't wait to actually be able to go out freely it's been a while it's been a while um i don't know if you guys have noticed but i've noticed that uh lately as we are hopefully uh winding down on this whole pandemic um i really am seeing the toll that it is taking on people so I urge you to hang in there. It's not easy. It's even taking a toll on me, which I must say, I don't think that it really has affected me that much up to this point, but I do feel a bit more um, anxious at, at this point. So hang in there with me, guys. We are going to make it. We're going to be fine. So, let me tell you one of the things that also happened that has um, delayed me uh, uploading a video. Now, since the pandemic, I have been ordering my groceries from Walmart. It has been uh, a very pleasant experience for me. Um, in fact, I often joke that I may never, you know, go to the supermarket again, even when this is all over. But let me tell you guys, this time they messed up. They messed up. They messed up big time. Um, I received my order and lo and behold, I would say half of the items, if not more, were not there. So this meant that I now had to start making calls um, to find out what the problem was because of course I had been charged for these items. So it turns out that the driver um, delivered half of my order to another customer with their along with their order. They were very very quick 
to um, acknowledge their mistake. They were very quick to issue a refund. But as I'm sure you know, that didn't take care of my problem because now I'm here with food and I need to prepare meals and literally everything that I had planned to prepare was missing an ingredient. So that didn't sit very well with me because now I have to go to the supermarket and actually shop. So, and, you know, like, I, you, you take the time out to actually plan the meals. You take the time out to actually make the list. You, you take the time out to order it on. It, all of this is time consuming. Just to find out that you really have to do it again. So, that was an issue. I had to deal with that. Um, I, I don't know whether I'm going to continue to order for Walmart at this point. Because I'm still, I'm still upset. I'm still upset about that. But we are here to talk about stitching today, and that's what we're going to do. Today I have an update on Save the Stitches. I have a new start, and I have some whips. So, and I also just want to say, now that all of the giveaways are out, I hope you know that that means there's going to be more giveaways as well. So stay tuned. Um, as always, I want to thank you for your comments and your questions. Um, I still feel they are the life of this channel, so keep them coming. I love every moment of it, and I try to respond to um, every comment that I can. So we were talking about, uh, last time I asked you guys, um, because of the fact that I am still loving my new burgundy eyeglasses, I asked you guys to tell me what your favorite burgundy floss is because I definitely want to stitch something with burgundy. Um, and so Beverly said that DMC 115 is a beautiful garnet color. She's doing a long dog sampler with it and she loves the variegation. So I don't have any 115, but I am going to get some of that because I need to see um, what that looks like, of course, in person. And yes, it's on my wish list to get a, a, a DMC color card. <laughs> Um, I don't know when that's going to happen, but I want to see that. Thank you, Beverly. Um, also, uh, many, many great of all exes here on YouTube. She's got a floss tube channel called, uh, all exes. And I'm going to link that in the description box below. Uh, many says that 3685 is a gorgeous burgundy that she suggests. And I actually had some of that here with me and so I pulled a skein of it and I just wanted to show you guys kind of what it looks like and here it is this is uh, DMC 3685 that is a gorgeous burgundy so thank you Minnie for that um, and she also weighed in on the discussion that we've been having, the ongoing discussion about um, doing two different things with your two hands. And uh, that will also include uh, stitching on a scroll frame two-handed. And uh, she says that she's right-handed, but her left hand has a mind of its own. It's like trying to comb the back of your hair in a mirror. It's, yeah, yeah, I, I totally relate with that because that is the exact feeling that I get from it. Again, we can all learn, we can all try to learn, but um, yeah, the two-handed thing, I'm, I'm still stumped. Um, then Linda says that she has the same color eyeglass frames because, you know, great minds think alike yes linda they do and the um burgundy color that she likes is dmc 814 and i have some of that too 
So I could show you the DMC A14, which I think is gorgeous. And then I could put it together with the 3685. So you can see, perhaps you could see the difference. And I think I'm leaning more towards the A14. But I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to keep track of this so that when the time comes and I'm ready to actually start stitching something with it, I'm going to um, have, with your help, I will have narrowed down the possibilities of which burgundy to actually use. So now, also, also, Bird RPG says that I should try Manor Red by Gentle Arts, which I have to say I was not able to locate that. Um, and she says it's a beautiful deep burgundy with a lighter deep red variegation. So as soon as I'm able to locate that Manor Red by Gentle Arts, I will add that to uh my sort of collection of burgundy flosses uh that i could choose from so thank you guys i really really appreciate your um responses and your comments um i i, I enjoyed that a lot now um also uh in my last video um i talked about samplers from my perspective and i want to thank everyone for not only listening, but actually hearing me. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. So now we are going to move into my new start. Um, if you've been with me for a while, or if you're you're new here, I um have started a uh, hashtag this year which is new month new start 2021 so i'm going to try to start something new the first of every month this year because you know according to me i don't have enough whips so um and i my list of things that i want to stitch on is so long um you got to start somewhere right okay so at least that's that's my thinking about it so what I started for March on March 1st was Nevermore by Lila Studio. And here's the chart. I love it so much. It's a beautiful fall slash Halloween type pattern. And um, I really like it. And I actually won this in a giveaway from uh, Beth. Uh, the Desert Stitcher here on Floss Tube. I'll link her channel below. And um, we're stitching it together. So we're, we're doing a stitch along. Um, I believe that um, the hashtag is hashtag nevermore2020. So if you're interested in joining it, us on that, um, that would be just fine. And I'm also using this chart because why not, right? I am using this as my entry for hashtag Stitch Asia, which uh, was is being hosted by Abby Bella Stitch, also uh, a floss tuber here on YouTube. And um, so this one chart. You know, I'm knocking out three hashtags with this, okay? So let me show you what my progress is on it so far. Because as I said, guys, you know, life has been huge. And I don't think I've gotten anywhere near as much stitching done as I normally would have in, in this past couple of weeks. But that's okay because we just continue, right? Okay, so as soon as I can get it to the right side, I will be more than happy to share it with you. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Wait until you see this. And so this is my start on Nevermore by Lila Studio. 
Let's hold that up. Maybe it'd be better on that side. Okay, that is better. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. And this is all being done at this point um, with uh, DMC 310. And I absolutely love the pattern of it. And so I'm just planning to uh, just move across page one and then stitch down because that's really the way I like to do it. And um, so uh, this represents two days of stitching. And I plan to stitch on it for a few more days before I move on to something else. And um, it is being stitched on, okay, you guys, be proud of me because I'm, I'm proud of myself for this. 32 count Lagana. Can you believe it? This is 32 count. I have never stitched anything on 32 count before. This is the first one. And I, I love it. I love it. There is absolutely nothing intimidating about it. I think I have a very good um, magnifying and lighting system going on here. So, I mean, it is a joy to stitch on. And I also really, really, really love Lugana. And I got this fabric from uh, Hobby House Needleworks. And as you could see, it's, it's surged all the way around, which is one thing I absolutely love that when the fabric comes already surged like that. So I already know I'm gonna be placing more orders with them. So, but just look at the beauty of that. I love it so much. I love it so much. So that's my new start for March. That is Nevermore by Lila Studio. So I want to just um, show you very quickly um, and tell you about the update of one of my saved stitches. Um, if you've been with me, you know that um, I have uh, been able to get to a thrift, a few thrift stores. And when I did so, um, I picked up a few um, stitch pieces and I rescued them. And so, let's see, the best way to show you this would probably be like that. So here is uh, one of them uh, that I rescued. This is welcome. And as you can see, you know, I did, I cleaned it up. Um, I had it soaking in a uh, mixture of, you know, water, uh, dish soap and bleach for several days, I must say. And I was not able to get all of the staining off so at this point, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether um, I want to dye it um, either with Rit dye um, or with um, a coffee tea um, situation. What I did look up so far about dyeing with coffee, I did not like. Um, of course, I can go ahead and experiment, but I'm just not sure um, which way I want to go with it yet. But I do want to turn this into a little pillow um, and start my little pillow collection. So that's where we are with the uh, saved stitches. So uh, hold on for just one moment and then I'm going to move on into what? Okay, so now we're going to talk about whips. Um, and again, if you're new, we use a lot of acronyms here in Cross Stitch Land on Floss Tube. And a whip is a work in progress. So I worked um, all month, uh, all the entire month of February on uh, Stronger Together, which was a stitch along that was put out by Fat Quarter Shop. And um, this is what it looked like. And um, what I did was I just worked a, a little bit on it each day. 
um, for e every day during the month of February. So, I'm not done with it, but it's definitely going back into the rotation because, you know, I've come up with uh, some, what I think is a good idea for um, how I, I want to complete it. And guys, I have to also say, I was not very good this past couple of weeks at taking before pictures. So I apologize for that, but I can show you where I am now. And so here is where I got to. Um, it's 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 totally not an awful lot. Um, of course, uh, many many people finished it. Um, I'm not the greatest stitch along person, but I do give it my my best effort. And so here is where I got to. And as I said, it will be going back into my rotation so that I can complete it. And uh, the thing I want to point out to you again is that I was inspired uh, by another floss tuber to uh, do the complete main pattern here and then take the secondary uh, chart and add it to this so that it's all one piece and i'm still very very happy with that idea uh so i'll be anxious to uh stitch on this again uh some more as 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 we go along but i also want to say that i am very extremely happy and proud to uh say that um the uh the quilt along and stitch along uh, fundraiser that the Fat Quarter Shop was holding uh, for the United Negro College Fund was able to raise $13,000. I am so very happy. This is the first effort that um, Fat Quarter Shop has made um, in this regard and it just brings me joy and I was just overjoyed to be a part of it. So, thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. So, also from Fat Quarter Shop, I worked on, during the month of February, I worked on just my type. And I have the chart here to show you. And this is what it looks like. And um, this chart spoke to me, of course, because uh, for years and years and years, my career was, I was a career uh, legal secretary. And so this really spoke to me. And so, you know, I know that I need to have this in my life. So I'm like, sure, I'm joining that stitch along as well. And again, I only put in a couple of stitches each day during the month of February with all of its craziness. And this is how far I've gotten, which again isn't very far, but it's it's going it's going in rotation because I need to finish this. And so here is how far I've gotten. I started in the middle, which this is the typewriter. Um, you may be able to see that I've been able to move up to uh, some of the uh, white stitches here. And so I will, you know, continue to do that. And what this also represents is um, the fact, this is the first time that I've ever used um, any floss other than DMC. And so this is a uh, color and cotton floss, which the sun is shining, but I'm, I'm grateful for the sun. But look at how it continues to play with the lighting. That's bunny um but keep shining please um so this is the first time i ever used over dye floss and so this is uh color and cotton and i must say um i really enjoy this i really kind of enjoy this um it may it is apps well it is pushing me more in the direction of 
well, yeah, you want to do more of this uh, than I was before where I basically was like, well, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with DMC. They've got every imaginable color under the sun. I'll just stick with that. But I, again, I must say that I'm thoroughly enjoying stitching with the color cotton flosses. I did want to say one thing about this um, chart, though. Um, this chart, um, you know, most of us like to make a working copy of our chart. So we do that by, you know, running it through the copier um, and using it that way. And I must say that no matter what I did to my copier, when I uh, printed this out, I was not able to see the symbols. And so I'm kind of having to work with the copy, the, the original and the copy, because I'm not going to mark up the original. In fact, when it's done, I'm going to just go ahead and pass it on um so i just wanted to make you uh, aware of that unless you have some copying trick that i don't know about just be aware that when you do copy that chart it may not uh be readable for you because it certainly is not readable for me so that was just my type back water shop then i also worked on crossword by long dog samplers and here's what it's going to look like when it's done and i must say i think i got I, i'm satisfied with my progress because um when the last time i picked it up and again i didn't take any photos i was mostly um concentrating on getting you know some I, I wanted to complete more letters you know but then uh when i picked it up this time i concentrated more on this beautiful uh lacy border and it is just such a relaxing stitch and it's this is definitely one of those patterns that when you're stitching on it, you kind of don't want to stop stitching on it. You just want to keep going and keep going, um, which is a little difficult for those of us who are not monogamous stitchers. But I am very happy with that progress. I got another critter in here. Um, actually, it's funny because I don't actually know if that's a critter or not, but I looked at him for a while and I decided that it's a critter and so it gets the critter color and so that's where I am on crossword and that is by long dog samplers okay what do we have next what do I have next that I want to share with you guys um happy mail You guys are so generous, and that is just, like, one of the many things that I totally love about the Stitchy community. So, um, just talk amongst yourselves for a second while I get this box. Da -da 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 -da. It's coming. I got it. It's coming. I got it. Come on. I don't have it yet. All right, here we go. So I received an email from one of our viewers, uh, Tammy, um, who was going through some of her stash and wanted to know if I would be interested in receiving some of these items um, and uh, was very gracious enough to let me know that I could certainly use um, this in giveaways if that's what I chose to do I could keep it if that's what I chose to do so Tammy I want to thank you so much for thinking of me um and she did say that she's just very happy that it goes to a that it went to a, a good home uh because yeah I I will use it and if I'm not going to use it I know that you will use it 
So let's dig into this box and see what Tammy sent me. First of all, look at the size of this box. Okay, you ready? Okay. So, first of all, there are, there's a lot of fabric. Okay. It's all Ada, which is perfect because I love stitching on Ada. I love stitching on Ada and Lugana. I am not a linen person. Um, so it's perfect. And so there is this um, 14 count navy blue Ada. Love it. I have some things in mind for that. Then we have some 18 count oatmeal Ada. And this looks like a pretty big piece. This is good. This is good. Beautiful oatmeal Ada. And then what about this beautiful 16 count? Okay, so we got three different counts going on here. Uh, the 16 count Ada, which I believe is just white. Yes, it is white. So there's that. Exciting. This is very exciting. I love it. And so, the, of course, that's not all. There's more. There's more. And here's the beautiful card that she sent because she always sends a beautiful card. <laughs> then she sent this uh, this wonderful urinology uh, floss box, which I don't know about you, but I don't think we can have too many of these. Now I do right behind me, I have some stacked here. And I think two of them, no, one of them is empty. So we'll see whether I'm going to use this or pass this along. So there's that. And there's more. There's lots more. There is more, oh, there's more fabric. There's more Ada fabric. And this one, this is 16 count Ada, and it is Touch of Pink. Beautiful. You guys know how I feel about pink. I wonder if I stitch something burgundy on this pink, how that would look. Okay. So, here's the pink Ada. And it's 16 count, which I love. It's funny because I'm not, I don't think I'm currently stitching anything on 16 count later, but I absolutely love 16 count later. So there's that. Um, and then, let me see if that's, if I got everything from the box. Here's the crinkle crinkle. Okay, I think I could put the box back over here now, guys. Because then, um, she sent this huge bag of stitchy goodies. So let me just quickly show you guys what was in here. We have, let's see how many. I think there's one of the, uh, DMC floss number stickers, which I've been using a lot. So we have, we have some of those. I do believe it's every single number. Yep. Every single number. Then we have, this is fun because um, I remember I was talking to my son about this recently and asking him if he even knew that there was such a thing because people are just so innovative. But here's a floss winder. How cute is that? I really think I want to give that a try. And we have a lot of bobbins. 
a lot of bobbins and some of them I don't know let me see I think it might be just this package that um, also includes the, the floss ring with it but there's a lot I mean I mean there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot so just uh, know that you may see some of these items in some of your uh, giveaway packages because um, I'm happy 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 to share uh, Tammy thank you again so much this was extremely generous of you thank you so much okay but that's not all we've got more generous uh, viewers out there as well um I also got a message from uh, Mini Gray at All X's, who I talked about a little bit earlier, so her link is in the description box. And she asked me um, if I owned a copy of the 2015 uh, version issue. 2015 Across Stitch Christmas, which is a whole series of books put out by Craftways and Better Homes and Gardens, and I'm trying to collect every single book ever. And um, so I was smart this time, and I said, well, I don't have that one, Minnie. Can you send me a picture so that I can know <laughs> that we're talking about the same ones? Please excuse Mr. Ribbon's coughing in the background. <laughs> oh, okay so um she sent me a picture and i was about to die i was so excited i'm like yes 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 i need it i need it i need it and so she was um gracious enough uh to just send it to me and so here it is this is a cross stitch christmas from 2015 and the little, it's called Handcrafted Moments. And isn't this beautiful on the cover? They do a great job of choosing a absolutely beautiful um, chart to, to feature on the cover. And she um, left me a very nice note. So thank you for that, Minnie. Thank you very much. And I just wanted to point out a couple of things that are inside the book. And so I wanted to point out that um, these books generally include some designers that we are all very familiar with. So for example, this is by Barbara Anna Designs from 2015. And I know there are a lot of you who would love to stitch this. And so we have that and then what else did I choose out of here to show you guys I have a tab but oh oh my goodness this is beautiful this is called I think it's just called Noel but it's in the section called candy Christmas and I want you to see this up close this is absolutely stunning and of course it doesn't hurt that it's um, finished with pink fabric. But oh my gosh, I would love to stitch that. So I'm so happy that I have this book. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Minnie, for thinking of me and sending that along to me. I really, really do appreciate it. So let's see, what else do we have? We're going to move on to haul. Um, let's see. I think I should take a short break before I move on to haul so I can get it all in. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and move into haul. I don't have that much haul, but I think it's interesting enough to share it with you guys. Um, I needed to uh, place an order with backwater shop and so while I was there 
I decided to go ahead and check something off of my very, very long wish list. So I ordered the PDF download of An Autumn Wish by Cherry Hill Stitchery. So it seems as if I'm moving through my fall stitching wish list, which um, I'm very happy about. And I love this chart. I love this white pumpkin. And of course, I'm fully aware you could take any chart with a pumpkin on it and stitch it in white. But the white pumpkin on this chart is what actually caught my eye. So I had to have that. And then, um, I have to show you what Backwater Shop sent to me for you guys, okay? It's, um, brand new, and, uh, in fact, they just announced it, I think, um, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, and so they, uh, sent this to me to give away to one of you guys and what it is is uh the new uh upcoming stitch along called home sweet home uh by it's so emmer for fat quarter shop and here it is is that cute we love to stitch houses i love to stitch houses <laughs> i have to stitch this i have to stitch this guys and so they sent um, the chart, um, the fabric, which is uh, 14 count Ada, okay? And they also sent the DMC thread pack, which is beautiful. Beautiful, these colors are gonna look so good on this fabric. All right, and so the stitch along starts um, April 7th, and I have to tell you guys, um, as I said, this is going to be part of the giveaways, and I don't even have my own set yet, just, just, just so you know, I don't even have my own set yet, but I'm planning on doing the stitch along, and so I just want to read what uh, Fat Quarter Shop said on their blog about this. Um, they said that uh, this year has taught us to appreciate the love and peace of being home. And with that, the Home Sweet Home Stitch Along was born. Uh, stop by for a few stitches with the Home Sweet Home and celebrate the places and spaces we call home with this enduring message featuring a trio of sweet houses on a tree-lined street. Kimberly, Kimberly Jolly of Fat Quarter Shop will be stitching along with us during the month of April. And so, um, you can uh, simply click on my link in the description box below um, and go ahead and order your supplies for this stitch along. As I said, it's gonna start um, April 7th, and I'm definitely participating, and I will probably start stitching it as soon as I get my supplies. So, I, I, I'm hoping, um, that they come in before <laughs> that. Excuse Mr. Ribbon for, for, um, coughing over the video again. Um, but... Um, I hope that the supplies come in before April 7th, but I do believe that uh, Fat Quarter Shop has now started to catch up with their shipping, so that really should not be a problem. Now, I also like to share free downloads with you guys, and so, so now there's a noise outside. I hope you guys can't hear it, and I really hope that it doesn't last very long. Okay, seems like it may be gone. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I think they're doing some type of um, mowing the lawn. Mowing the lawn, garden work. Thank you, Mr. Ribbon. Um. So I'm just gonna continue for now. 
So I downloaded, it's a free chart from Whilst Iris Naps, and it's just simply called Spring Freebies. And you can uh, go to the website, whilstirisnaps.com, to download it. And this is what it looks like. And can you just look at those cute little bunny butts? Not to mention the carrots, but come on. Don't you want to stitch that? I do. I, I love the color of the fabric. I love everything about it. So, as I said, you can download that for free on the Whilst Iris Naps website. Let's see. Now, okay, so now we're moving into um, giveaways, okay? And so here is what I want to share with you guys this week. And I just had to make sure I had my pen. I am going to give away, okay, something's missing. Um, I don't know. Did it fall? Oh, oh please. <laughs> oh, please. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, please. I'm coming. Okay, here it is. Gosh, I hope this is it, guys. Anyway, I am going to um, give away the Just My Type chart. And this is uh, not my chart. It's, it's, it's an extra chart that Backwater Shop shared. And I want to send that to you along with the uh, Just My Type line keepers. Okay, so it's magnetic and you... you just attach it to your page so you can keep your space and know where you are in your chart. And so in order to enter for that giveaway, you can simply include the word type in your comment, T-Y-P-E, in your comment. I am also, as I've said, I am going to still be, I don't know what is going on here, guys. Um... Hold on. Okay, guys, I think I'm 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 losing it, but that that's not completely unusual at this point. But anyway, the next giveaway that I want to uh, share with you guys is the uh, supplies for the Stronger Together uh, cross stitch pattern, and so uh, what that is going to consist of is the um fabric flare fabric which is a uh, 14 count ada aqua dyed effects and the stronger together dmc thread pack which also comes with the commemorative uh wristband and so all you'll need to do is to go on to uh, the Fat Quarter Shop website, and of course, you can use the link in the description box um, and purchase the pattern. Um, but if you want to use this for something else, that's fine too. But just know, I'm still going to be stitching on Stronger Together, so we'll still be stitching on that together. And so if you're interested in that giveaway, why don't you just put the word together in the comments just add the word together and so last but not least I am also going to be giving away the package that Backwater Shop sent to me just for you guys and that is the home sweet home cross stitch the cross stitch stitch along materials and so that is going to I'm going to be sending you the actual chart the eight o'clock and the DMC threat pack 
And so if you're interested in that giveaway, you can just include the word home in your comment. So you can enter for all, you can enter for any. Um, I'm going to be using the YouTube random comment picker and simply uh, searching for those words. Um, please be over 18 so that you'll be able to send me your mailing address. Please do not use the word giveaway because we don't want any um, trolls to just try to win free stuff. And um, this is open again only to the U.S. at this point. Uh, but I hopefully will be able to change that sometime in the future, you guys who are not in the U.S. Um, so that's um, what you do. Just uh, make sure that you include... Uh, th those words in your comment if you're interested in any of the giveaways. I struggle through that, guys. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to Nita, who I'm hoping that I'm saying your name correctly, Nita, at Daybreak Stitchery. She is a fairly new floss tuber. I thoroughly enjoy um everything that she is stitching on i enjoy her description and i frankly feel like i could sit and talk with nithia all day um i i i like her voice i like um her thought process and um she has uh one of her designs which i won't divulge what that is at the moment but one of her designs has given me uh, some great inspiration to perhaps create a design of my own. So, you know, I can't make any promises as to how soon that may happen. But in the meantime, I do urge you to go to um, give Daybreak, Stitch Daybreak Stitchery with Nita. Go give her a look. And if you like what you see, please do subscribe to her channel. So what are my plans and what do I have coming up? I um, am going to uh, join the Home Sweet Home Stitch Along that I just talked about. And that's going to start on April 7th. And so once I start that, I will be stitching along with that on a daily basis throughout the month of, the month of April. Um, I'm going to continue to work on Nevermore for a few more days before... I switch off to a different um, project. Um, oh, and I want to uh, share with you that I chose my April 1st start. And it is... How do I get it out of here? Let's see. Is it? Ah, okay. It is the Christmas Eve Sampler by Joan Elliott. Now, if you remember, I only um, acquired this a very short time ago, so I'm excited that it came up uh, for my April 1st start. I have ordered my flosses. I still have to order some Krynic because there, there, there's um, some Krynic in there. Um, and um, I ordered the called for fabric. Which is another thing I've never done before. I've never um, uh, ordered and used uh, over dye fabric. But I like the fabric on this chart. So I thought I would give it a try. And people had pretty much a lot of nice things to say about the shop. That um, encouraged me to go ahead and order and order the fabric. So, that's what's coming up in April. Don't forget to uh, send me your pictures of your finishes because we love to celebrate finishes around here. You can simply email me at designmorris1 at gmail.com and I will be more than happy to feature your finish here on this channel. We also have a Facebook group, which is Black Ribbon Stitch Studio, where we like to share our progress on any of the crafty things that we are involved in and I think that we are really just enjoying each other's company over there 
And then I'm going to leave you as I always do with some words of inspiration to hopefully carry you through the week. And that is for you to be loud about the things that are important to you. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing this time with me. Thank you so much for allowing me to share with you um, all of the things that bring me joy. And um, so go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sharing my videos. And if you want to stick around and know what I'm going to be coming up with next, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget, guys, now more than ever, remember love.